what I love about you is the quality of your pro your show, the energy, the staging, the costume. I mean, how how big is it to get that thing on the road? It does take a lot of planning. I mean, it's you know, especially this is the third time. Luckily, we're coming down there now because we've had two two loads of concerts cancelled because of the obvious COVID. So um, yeah, it takes a lot of planning. You know, a lot of uh, not too much rehearsal because we don't take years off. I mean, we we played our last show only two weeks ago, so we don't need any rehearsals. And so as far as the, what, what, what you're thinking behind the setup on stage and, and the professionalism that you bring to it, as opposed to so many artists these days that put a rug down, turn up in a t-shirt and a guitar and that's your show. Well, it's, I'm, I'm old school, it's entertainment and people want to be entertained. And if putting a rug down the t-shirts, you know, if that's entertainment, that's up to the individual. But me, I'm Mr. Razzle Dazzle, aren't I? Yeah. Where, where'd you get that from, the razzle-dazzle part? Uh, well, you know, I, I lived through the 60s and the 70s and the 80s were especially razzle-dazzle, but I've I've always been a bit of a show-off when it comes to clothes. Even before I had no money, I've always loved clothes. Uh, I've always thought it to be an extension of your personality. Oh, exactly. Which it led me to my question, how many suitcases do you bring for your own stuff? Uh, about four. Oh, that's not bad. No, that's not bad at all. A lot of it goes, a lot of it's already gone with the ships and the amps and the guitars and what have you. All right. As far as I looked up this morning, this tour of yours. So you start in Australia, you come through New Zealand, you're into America, you eventually do Spain, you do Britain, you're back in America, you're in Vegas. It's a big, big year. Love it. Do you? <laughs> I wouldn't be doing it if I didn't love it. It's what the good Lord put me on this earth to do. Because, to uh, well, the reason I asked the question is you told somebody the other day that after this year, you're giving up the rock and roll. Yeah, it, yes, yes, certainly. I might just do a few more dates that uh, in Europe. Otherwise, I've got a swing album coming out with a guy called Jules Holland and his big band. Yes. And uh, we just had a record meeting today with the record company today and it all went well and it's going to be released in September. I just want to get away from what I'm doing. So I've been doing it a hell of a long time and I love it, but I want a new challenge. Do you think you'll, once you get away from it, you'll regret it? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> then you Probably, can always go yeah. back. Having said that, we're just... retiring now, Mike. No, no, no. Retiring. Never retire. No. Yeah, we've, we've just seen Elton come through. You'll last Elton in terms of touring, won't you? A tour again? You'll, you'll outlast Elton in terms of touring, won't you? Oh, I, I, I don't know. I love old El. He's, uh, I think he's going to find it very hard to give up. And he didn't actually say he was going to give it up. He's still going to do concerts, charities and things like that. And if there right. is a charity show and I have to sing Maggie May and do you think I'm sexy, I'll do it tomorrow. Good on you. you. Know? What about the... I'm glad you raised Jules because I've been trying to look up to see where that's at. So you have a release date and it's done and it's ready to go. Well, not quite a release date yet. We have to work on that. We only had the first meeting today. And is it, have you got anything? You've got about the new album. Yeah. Have you got anything? Yeah, we haven't even got a title it? for it yet. Right. But does it sound good? No, nah, it sounds like a load of shit. Of course it sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> of course it sounds good. It's wonderful. It's sweet music. You know, no, it makes you tap your feet directly you hear it. Fantastic. I'll tell you what I love about Jules and what I didn't know about him is he's a trainer like you. And your advice to him was put the train set in the biggest room you've got and it'll bring yeah. you the greatest joy. I mean, those are words to live by, aren't they? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. You know, most of my suitcases are full of projects I have to build for the railroad. Yeah. So I bring the stuff with me and the hotel give me a special room with a massive table and I unpack it all, saws, paints, hammers, glue, wood, everything, and start making a project. I'm it's so wonderful. Otherwise, there's a lot of downtime when you're on the road. That is true. I'm so glad to hear you talk about it because tr traditionally you don't like to talk about it. And I looked at your set. It was in some magazine, like Railway Magazine. It's the yeah. most spectacular thing you've ever seen. You should be shouting that from the rooftops. Yeah, I, I am. I'm very proud of it. You know, it's. Uh, I've been making it for 24 years and it recently got moved all the way from California to, to the UK here. And that took uh, a good three months by ship and another two years. And we're still putting it back together. But it's it really is a blinding. I'm very proud of it. So you, so you should be. 
Uh, from Jules to the face, where, where, where are the, where's the faces work at? I mean, you were doing, working with them as well. Well, we, we started an album, then we agreed it wasn't very good. Right. And then Ronnie goes on tour with the Stones, he's finished, then I go on tour. We will get it done eventually. So you've got a lot on the bubble, as they say. On the bubble? <laughs> yeah, you've got, you got a lot on the bubble. Your plate's full, yeah, it certainly is. And I'm Can loving I... every minute of it. Good. Can I congratulate you, by the way, on the, the scan initiative that you did as well? I thought that was brilliant. Why, why would you ring up a television station, though? Well, because they were, I'd just previously been to have my scans, and it was easy. I walked in, place was empty. They had no one coming in for the rest of the day because it was private. And I thought, this, there's something wrong here. So I called up Sky News, and they put me on. And I said, I'd like to play for 20 or 30 scans, which I did. And now I'm going to go to Glasgow, which is partly arranged, Manchester, Birmingham, and do as many cities as I can, just to help. Good on you. And, and it clearly is helping. It works. Yeah, it does work. Yeah, it, uh, especially around where I live, it, it lowered the uh, percentage by 10% people waiting, which is, which is you know, not a piss in the ocean. That's exactly right. It was it Ron, Ronnie who called you tighter than two coats of paint, and all of a sudden we're seeing a, a, a softer rod in your older age. Is that what's happening? No, I've, I've always been generous. Have you? I thought Ronnie, my dad used to use that expression about <laughs> most Scottish people tight as two coats of paint, and he's turned it on me. <laughs> no, he's, I, I've always been generous, he'll tell you that. Yeah, and that's because the, the, the Ukrainian refugees and things, that's stuff we've never heard about before that you've clearly done in the background and just not made public. Oh, re uh, renting houses for yeah, the yeah, Ukrainian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah they're lo lovely, lovely people. And we have to send them, I know you, you, the New Zealand's done their bit, but we have to send them the F-16s. We've got to win this war. It'll be the end of mankind, as we know, if we don't. When I say Thanks. we, the Allies and the Ukrainians. Do you think the British are going to be involved in that? Do you think Rishi's going to oh, stop We're heavily up? involved, yeah. yeah. We're heavily involved. Everybody's involved. Everybody. No, no one was a bigger advocate for Ukraine than Boris. Yeah. Boris, I didn't mind old Boris. I thought he was all right. Just uh, told a few fibs. Every, yeah, but, that, but don't they all? They do. Don't they all? Hey, listen, lovely to catch up with you. By the way, you won't remember, but last time I talked to you, and this was when you came to New Zealand, you said, was I coming to the show? And I said, I'd come to the show if you played handbags and glad rags, right? And I, I was joking. But you did, and you dedicated it to me. And that, uh, that, that meant the world. I thought that was one of the greatest nights of my life. And I thought, why would he do that? And you did. And, and so I haven't had the chance to thank you for doing that. Uh, my pleasure. It was just Anything now. Anything else you want to hear? Yeah, it is, actually. Um, people get ready. Oh, we do it every night, so that's no problem. Oh, there you go. But you got to say, shout it out you got to shout it I'll out. I'll see you go. there, my friend. Good on you. Lovely to catch up. Right. Go well, fly well, and we'll look forward to seeing you in the country. See you there. Ta-da, mate. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now.